Ever since I was old enough to hold a controller, I've been playing games. The very first game I can recall beating was Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I was probably around 6 years old and I thought that I just conquered the hardest game ever created. See, I grew up on Super Nintendo and N64 games, back when your generic Mario game was so hard that you needed to find secrets in order to progress through the main storyline. Yeah, nowadays, Mario games give you this item that will carry you to the end of the level without much skill. I realize such mechanics and items are for the little kids who have a really hard time beating a level because they haven't developed any skill yet, but I grew up on Super Mario World. The games I played didn't give you handouts, but challenged your skill level and forced you to become better at the game. Enter the Gungeon is one of those games. I've never had such ambivalent feelings for a video game before. Usually, games fit on a spectrum for me. Either I absolutely love the game, or I absolutely hate the game, with the rest of the game spattered within this love-hate spectrum. Enter the Gungeon sits on both ends of the spectrum while occupying every space in between. I hate this game for several reasons. The first, and most prominent reason, is that this game is unacceptably hard. The game works like this. Walk into a room, dodge enemy bullets, kill every enemy. The problem is that they start you off with a trashy weapon and the enemies fill the room with bullets. So you have to squeeze your way through these tiny gaps between the enemy bullets while at the same time shooting your own bullets from your own gun which may in fact be a lowercase r that says The one thing that makes this game way harder is that if you die, you lose all of your progress and start over at the beginning. There is nothing more infuriating or disheartening than playing for 30 minutes and then losing every shred of progress you made. I'm a pretty patient gamer and never really have any outbursts of anger while playing. I have never thrown my controller or even truly rage quit before, but this game turned me from this guy to this guy. <laughs> Some of the boss fights are absolutely ridiculous. The Gorgon can make it so you can't shoot. Amokonda slithers around the room throwing snake-like bullets that move around the screen while trying to kill you. The Bullet King fills the entire room with bullets. The Wallmonger is this wall that takes up a third of your screen and keeps pushing you backwards. I have never before had such difficult boss fights in the game. I wouldn't wish my worst enemies fight these bosses. The saving grace of this game is that it is fun as I'll get out to play. There are so many layers to the action in this game that it is impossible not to feel like every room cleared is an amazing accomplishment. You can kick over tables for cover, you can kick explosive barrels at enemies and shoot them, you can drop chandeliers on your enemies, and of course, the guns are the best part of the game. You got a shotgun, a crossbow that shoots stars, a gun that shoots saw blades, you have a demon head that... Actually, I, I, I don't know what it's supposed to do. You got an executioner's axe that attacks people when it reloads. You got the desert eagle. You got the magnum. You got a gun that is skateboarding and every time it reloads it says... Whack. The goofy charm and amazing action to this game balances the game's difficulty into this perfect blend of a challenge fun. The goofy charm and amazing action to this game balances the game's difficulty into this perfect blend of a fun challenge. Enter the Gungeon has quickly become one of my favorite games. After putting 30 hours into the game, I still have yet to beat it. This game is trying my patience as well as improving my skill level. The more I play it, the more I feel like I will eventually be victorious. Even after failing miserably, I often find myself playing this game every opportunity I get, hoping to get just a little further each time. This is one of the best games that I've come across. 10 out of 10, seriously, why aren't you playing this game?